Hey guys, Ace Spartan here with a deck profile. Today we have a deck profile for a Guardians of the Galaxy deck for the Versus two-player card game. Uh, if you haven't heard about Versus Revival, uh, I used to play the old game. And it was awesome. Uh, they killed it back in 2007, I believe, which sucked. But now they brought it back and it's pretty streamlined and it's more accessible for everybody to play. It's also kind of like a living card game, so you could just buy one thing and you get play sets of everything. So you don't need to buy booster packs, starter decks, any of that stuff. So, uh, not going to explain any of the mechanics. I'm just going to go over the cards and my choices, why I chose these cards. I will put something, a like tutorial video link in the description. If someone made a good one, I'll put it in the description so you guys can learn how to actually play the game. And, uh, yeah, learn how to play the game. It's an awesome game, so gonna go with the main character first so we have star lord so he is a two five with range five health pretty standard for all main characters um he has greatest guardian his uh power here build during the build phase you can pay a yellow and you can pay one less to recruit your next character during this turn so you could uh ramp a guy really quick uh just get a guy in there really quick and uh yeah it's pretty pretty useful ability also, he has Recruiting Drive, which is Level Up uh, level up uh, Ordeal. You have to do it five times, and when you recruit a character, Star Lord gains an experience. So it's the easiest, uh, one of the easiest uh, level up mechanics that you could do on a character. So every turn you recruit a character, so you will level him up to level 2. And with level 2, he becomes a 4-7 with range, 5 health still. He has his first ability first, uh, still. And he has Space Cop. So during the main phase, you can pay red. And each enemy character loses its powers this turn. So it pretty much nullifies them from doing any combat tricks or anything crazy on that on their characters. So very good ability. His first ability is just awesome. And you could just it's you could just ramp up to something good. It is a ramp deck, uh, essentially. So Alright, so we're going to go over to the characters. Let's go right here. So, first, we have our one-drops. There is seven one-drops. So, it's four Yondu. He is a one-two with range, two health, which is awesome. And he has his Yaka arrow ability. Uh, during the main phase, you could pay a red. And you stun in a supporting character with cost three or less, which is just insane. You could just drop this late game, mid game, early game, does not matter. There will be people that play uh, a Cosmo, which we'll go over right now. And you can just stun it and kill it, and it just gets rid of the annoying dog. So, it's just good. I want to see it a lot, so obviously that's why I play four. So, four copies of Yondu. Alright, and then we have three copies of Cosmo. He's a 1-3 with range, 1 health, and uh, he has Nullify. So when he appears, choose an enemy character. It loses and cannot gain key, word, and superpowers until Cosmo gets stunned or leaves play. So... As soon as you kill it, you have your powers back, but until then, if you can't get him off the field, he is a very annoying character to deal with. Uh, especially with Drax in the deck, which he has an ability where they can't fly over the front row. He will sit back there and just be there, and you can't use your power and stuff like that. So, three of him, he's really good. Don't want to see him, like, turn one or anything like that, so definitely just... So we have two drops. There's also seven two drops. We have Mantis. Uh, she's a 2-3. No flight or range. One health. Uh, she has the rebirth ability. So when she gets KO'd, you may turn her into a face down resource on your side. So this, you want her to die. You want to crash with people. Just to get an extra resource to start ramping you guys and start doing more crazy stuff. Uh, you can ramp on turn. You can put this light game and just give you whatever. And boom, you just start unloading characters or put out your biggest character out there. So definitely for her, she's the main that you want to see. You can even cheat her in turn one with uh, Star-Lord. So it's pretty ridiculous. And we have three Agent Venom. Two drop, three, three, no flight or range, one health, and he has symbiote strength. So during the main phase, you can pay green to put two one one counters on Age of Venom, he becomes a 5-5 five, five on turn 2. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, also late game 2, even on a th turn 3, you could drop him, and he's still a good for his stats. 
he becomes a 5-5 five five on turn 3, which is awesome for a stat. So definitely 3 him. He's one of your uh, early beaters in the deck. So Then we have our 3 drops. There's only 6, and it's Gamora. So she has she's 3-4, 2 health, pretty awesome, with the lethal ability which is when she attacks and stuns a supporting character, KO it. So when she stuns something that has two health and hasn't been stunned before, she'll kill it automatically. This is awesome during late game, or she team attacks with somebody, her ability still goes off no matter what, she is part of the attack. So keep that in mind. She is awesome uh, early and late game. So four of her. And we have two of Rocket. He's a 4-1 uh, with range and one health. His stats may look crappy, but with the, the range mechanic in the game, he does survive attacks, and he has a lot of attack. So he's a four. Four attack is a lot. So he has a scavenger ability. During the main phase, you can pay a red, and you can put a card from your KO pile into your hand. So you could get back a character that you lost, that you had to do something discarded or whatever, or you could get a plot twist that you might need for the next combat or for the next turn. Stuff like that. So Rocket lets you use uh, your resources back. And he's just good. Alright, so now to the four drops. We have five four drops. And we have four Sabretooth. He's probably the best four drop in the game. Just by his abilities alone. So four four for two health. And he has uh, Ferocious. So during melee combat, he strikes before enemy characters. And he also has Berserker. Which when he attacks... He gets plus one plus one counter on him. So he's a 5-5 five, five first striker in magic terms when he attacks. And when he doesn't get attacked, he still has uh, Ferocious on him. So it's it's ridiculous. He's just the best four drop in the game right now. So definitely four of him. And we have one Nova. Uh, he's my favorite character, one of my favorite comic book characters. So definitely want to include him in He's a 5-5 five five with flight, with one health, which is his downfall. And he has a Nova Force speed. So during the main phase, you could pay a uh, blue, and you could ready him. So when you attack, tap him. He survives the attack somehow. Uh, you pay the blue, boom, ready him. He can attack again if he wants to. So he's good for that. Uh, he's just one of my favorite characters, so I want to include one copy of him at least. So one Nova, pretty awesome. Now to the big drops. We have three five drops, and it is Groot. As you can see, he is a zero plus zero plus two with two health. But his ability, I am Groot. He ha he gets plus one plus one for each resource on your side. So on turn five, if you play him, he's a five five, which is pretty decent. But later in the game, when you're getting to like the seven eight drops, and you drop him, that's when he gets scary. Uh, the one downfall of this card is that. Uh, I am Groot is a keyword, and Cosmo takes away keywords. So he'll instantly get stunned, and he will die. So that's the only downfall of him. Other than that, he is a big beater or just a good on, on curve. So we want three of him. And for the six drop, it's only three. He is Drax. Drax is just awesome. He's a 6-6 six, six for two health, and he has Berserker. So when he attacks, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. So he becomes a 7-7 seven, seven while attacking uh, whenever you play him. And he has grab. So while he's in the front row, enemy characters can't fly over him. So it does refer to the movie on the card. Nothing goes over his head. That's an awesome ability to have. Uh, Guardians of the Oxy doesn't don't really have uh, flyers. Nova. They also have Moon Dragon and Adam Warlock. I believe that is it. And Quasar. So there's only four flyers. And there's one Nova. And I use Adam Warlock. And that's pretty much it. The other two aren't too great and don't fit in with what I'm trying to do. So having Drax out is really good. Yeah. But whenever I play my brother and I pull this out, he tries to take him out because he's just the annoyance. And he, he hates hates the card. So I don't blame him. So for a 7-drop, only 2. It is Adam Warlock. So he's a 13-13 flyer with 1 health. 1313 is really big, but he has a condition for that. So he has evolutionary cocoon. So Adam Warlock appears stunned. So when he enters play, he is stunned. He doesn't lose life. He's just stunned. 
and he hasn't emerged. So during the main phase, you pay a green, and you recover him and ready him. So you can only use the power when he's stunned. So you come into play on turn 7, or turn 6, with uh, Star Lord's ability. Comes in stunned, you have that green. Boom, you have a 13-13 on turn 6 or 7. Pretty ridiculous. A lot of people have to team attack him, or have to go head-to-head -head with a character and having that character stunned. So... And Warlock, he is the preferred 7-drop of the deck. He's really good. So 2 of him and 1, Thanos. The only 8-drop in the game right now. He's a 12-12 with 2 health. And he has Welcome Death, which is you pay a green in the main phase to add a wound to all stunned characters. Uh, you have to be careful with this because during late game as well, you, you will have wounds on your um, main character if you, if you get hit a lot or something. If something happens. So, it's to all characters. So, he's a 12-12 already. This is your end game if you get him. He's just awesome. So, one Thanos. Don't want to see him too much. So, that is the character count. Uh, really solid lineup, I think. So, yeah. Let's get to the plot twist. Here we have four fine cover. Uh... You can use this any time during battle. You choose a defender to get plus three defense this combat. So, especially with Star-Lord and the main characters, they do have big butts. You use it on your main character and it is not stunned. Or you try to save uh, a Drax or something. You could save any of your characters, really. A lot of them have big butts. So, uh, for these, they just save your butt. Literally. So, Boom. Four. And we have three even the odds. Uh, this is the one of the uh, team specific uh, plot twists. Special. This is Guardians of the Galaxy only. So, or play it when you have a Guardians character on the field. So anytime during combat, you could, it removes all plus one plus one counters from an enemy character in the combat, and that character's current attack and defense become the same as its base attack and defense this combat. So it removes all the counters, and they are. Um, they're stuck with the base, unless they play something else, obviously. So, if you use this against a Groot, and it could, uh, I need to see the ruling of that, but it should uh, put them to zero, but he has the ability, so not sure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way, but three of these, uh, a lot of plus one, plus one counters when you power up and stuff, so definitely get, a, get rid of them. And we have the final plot twist, which is three, give them a lift. Uh, during the main phase, you put a plus one, plus one counter on a character on your side, and it gains flight. So on turn six, you put uh, Drax, you play this on him, you can start swinging the back row, which is probably the weak characters like Cosmo or Yondu, or their main character that has range. There's not too many, but yeah, you take out their main character in the back. So three of them, it's really good. I used to have... Uh, Open Fire, I believe that's the name of it. Just plus, plus two attack, but with not a lot of flight in this deck, give him a lift is the optimal choice. So, let's get to the locations. Uh, we have Four Nowhere. It's a Guardian's deck, so you have to run Four Nowhere. You could use this for any, um, for any uh, ability on your team. Uh, besides Thanos. That's the only one that do it doesn't hit, but... So you have four Academy, which is yellow. Uh, primarily for uh, Star-Lord's uh, ability to to get uh, make stuff cheaper during your turn. So for those, try to utilize it as much as possible. We have four Fortresses. So uh, Ancient Venom, who else? And Adam Warlock and Thanos use uh, Fortress. They use green. So definitely want to max those out. Especially with Agent Venom, just ridiculous. If you use all four of them on him, that's kind of it's, it shouldn't happen that way, but it does sometimes. Uh, and we have four training ground, which is red. Uh, Yondu uses it, Rocket uses it, and Star Lord does get the ability when he gets to level two, so he'll use it as well. So definitely four of those. Uh, for Nova, he is only one with the blue. The laboratory, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, he can use it with nowhere. So, he's not hindering the mana base, you per se. 
he's not hindering the locations, but it it works out no matter what. So that is the Guardians of the Galaxy deck. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the build. Uh, I like the build the way it is right now, but I love to hear su suggestions on anything. Uh, also working on a villain deck, like Athanos. He is one of the other main characters in the game, so I want to do something with him, kind of like a ramp, not too rampy, but I want to use his level two ability, which is the Infinite Gauntlet, where they have to destroy like one of each thing in the, their possession. So I'm trying to do that. I'll probably make a profile of it as well. But like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.